Hello, Darian B. Crossy's here with another YouTube video. I'm gonna keep this YouTube video brief. And I just wanna say that YouTube has been something for me to express myself when I felt like I couldn't express myself the best way possible. And I really wanna get better at it, but I don't wanna lose myself while doing it or try to be like someone else while doing it. And I just want to be really appreciated because all of the things that I had in my life, I didn't realize how much I valued them in a way to where, like, it brings sentimental value instead of it just being like a nostalgic memory, like me watching Scooby-Doo. Or I could have never watched Scooby-Doo if it weren't for, like, my mom being there for me. So it is kind of really, it's a... A eye opening situation here for me. But other than that, I just recently moved into my own place and I'm here now. I have no Wi Fi, so I can't watch the Kardashians or SpongeBob when I wake up. So it's just like, it kind of sucks that I can't do any of that. And also, I'm just like, I'm kind of sad because. I don't know. It's like actually change happening. Like you ask for something, but you once you get it, you just like, damn. Do I actually want that? That's how it is for me right now. Good morning, my beautiful kings and queens and in-betweens of the world. Literally, it is probably at least, I don't know, the third day of me completely moved into my apartment if you couldn't tell from the last clip um i was quite homesick and i still kind of am i'm not gonna cap with you i'm gonna be so for real at this point i visit home a lot well my mom's house i still call my mom's house home you know like i don't know i think it's because that's where, you know, family is. So, of course, I'm going to, like, you know. But anyways. Um, so, in the previous video that I had to crop out, like, I had to get rid of it. Because it was just giving, it was giving sad. It was giving sad. And I just can't post that entire video. Like, I'll give you a clip of me in the moment. Um, but anyways... Let's get into this house tour, this mini house tour, because at this point, like, we all know that I don't have that much money. It's not as if we about to see glamour galore extravaganza. Like, we about to see a couple of things. So, let's get into it. Look at my sink in my kitchen, looking so cute. I wish it was pink. Look at slow ball and look at my inset hookah. Ooh. Oh, oh, I need some more decor. My mom gave me that vacuum. Thank you, mom. Thank you so much. Look at my room. MacBook on the bed. Ooh, bitch, she ain't dead. She got her own place living her life. Hey, blah da dee da 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 dee do. Panda gang in this bitch, cause I love my wig too. Look at my bathroom, it's so beautiful too. Oh, da 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 da. <laughs> yeah, I think I should end it right here. <laughs> We're not even about to get into this damn shower head. Wait, 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 wait. I got my motherfucking makeup in the drawer or two. Look at me, I'm motherfucking sexy. Ooh, ooh. All of that. Yes, I need some more makeup too. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Small update. I added this picture onto my refrigerator. I love you, a name. So I guess I got another alias, which is a name.
Now I'm gonna fill you in pretty much on like how it's been going recently. So now that I'm in my own place, um, I just have to say that I'm really fucking happy, kind of, but I'm kind of like nostalgic and kind of sad. Like, it's only the first day of me actually like being here. Um, I don't have any Wi Fi, so. I can barely do anything. It's like I'm just recording stuff. And like, it's kind of bizarre because now I feel like I have some sense of sanity because I'm recording things and I don't think anybody is like trying to get to know me without taking the time to let me express myself in a sense. It's the best way for me to put it. I had to sell my phone so I could get this place. I don't regret it because my phone, like, it was really fucking up. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I would do without my mom, for real, for real. Like, she is willing to help me pay for the initial installation for my um, Wi-Fi situation until I miss him. I'm gonna be so sincere, you guys. I really miss Ridiculous. And I wanna contact him, but I kinda question his motives. Like, what was he like here for? Was he here for me or was he here for himself? And that's why I kind of like held myself back from him because I kind of wanted to dive in all in. But he just wasn't given that. Like he was playing a part and he wanted to believe it so bad, but he didn't. And he just didn't make the part. That's how I felt the energy he was giving off. But I do miss him. And I did dream about him. And I did really want to date him. Cause I don't want to really do this all alone. But I am with the help of my mom. Probably just this one time though. But I'm not sure what will happen. Like really good things can start happening for me. So this program that I am in is called Save Inc. And they help me get a plan. And I'm appreciative of that. There's a lot of rules and boundaries, so I can't necessarily be as vibrant and exuberant as I would be outside in here. So it's changed. This is Brendan here broadcasting live. Literally, I live next to someone who has a Tesla. That is literally crazy because they got this whole fucking pot thing. And it's like, it's cute. Kind of makes me want to stop being complacent. Because when I really think about it, what is the point? Hi. <laughs> Fuck, let me redo that. Hi. Hold on, wait, let me redo that again. Hi. Hold on, wait, let me redo that again. Hey, girl. Darian B. Quice is here yet again. Um, I'm just going to briefly, like, end off this video right now. Um, So, there's not much more for me to talk about. It's other videos that I recorded that I don't want to post because that's just talking too much. And... It's embarrassing to not want to make anything of yourself. It's embarrassing to actually be complacent and still living with my parents. And, you know, that's embarrassing. That's hella embarrassing. Like, wow. I'm so glad I got out way before 24. But anyways, um, express yourself dually. You know, regardless of how, like, people try to make fun of you or regardless of how people try to make you seem, 
Like, honey, you know exactly who you are. You know exactly how you handle yourself. And you know how you wake up every morning. Because you wake up every morning. And you don't sleep in. You do what you need to do to continue your fucking day. Like, it's so more inspirational being the person that is the underdog than being the person who is basically on top of it all. Because... It could be a facade. It could literally be a facade. And they could be sad. They could be waking up every single morning with the hugest fucking beer's belly. And just not happy. And it's not as if... I have a problem with a person that has a little bit more mass than me. Like, honestly, that's not my place to tell anyone how to love themselves. But I don't love myself like that. And I find that to be full of flaw because I'm hurting myself. Well, you're hurting yourself by eating so much, by doing all of what you're doing, being so mean to people, just negative as ever. And it's like you try to play the victim so much that it just doesn't add up for you because you already have your platform of what you do and people already know who you are and how you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. So you can think that I should feel bad for how I treat you, but in all reality, I don't and I won't and I will not ever because if you treated me better than how I treat you, then I would feel some type of way, but I don't. So am I delusional entirely? Not entirely, but I'm delusional enough to protect myself. And I think that's enough for me. I think that's just enough for me. I'm not as conceited as I let people believe because I think that it's just a, another one of my strong suits, another one of my ways to convey to you that you're just another pawn in the game. You're an NPC. Because you're a droid. You allow people to genuinely curate how it is that you're going to be. And it's not even successful people. It's not even the antagonist. So. Have a beautiful life to all of my exes that don't live in Texas. <laughs> And, you know, stay who you are. And to all of my supporters out there, hey, baby, I love you. Stay beautiful. I know you used to live in Texas or you still do. Whatever it is, I don't mind. I don't be all up in your business. But I love who you is. You give off exactly Daria Morgendorfin energy. And I love that. I love that so much. Like, some people, they don't even be like... Some people be trying to be sarcastic, but they really don't be sarcastic because they really be talking about how exactly how they feel and how um, this person that I'm thinking of that I will not convey their name because I won't um, like I just like how they do the way that they do them. And even if it's not a facade, like you did it very well. So I commend that. But yeah, stay beautiful, stay stunning, love yourself because no one else can love you exactly how you love you or hate yourself because no one can hate you exactly how you hate you. And stay stunning. All love, one love, panda love.